Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. We are back with our original gingerbread man cookie decoration character transformation video. And actually I had to borrow this space a background from my husband's channel Planet Zizzle because we will need it today. <laughs> As you saw in the thumbnail we are going to transform this giant delicious Ginger Batman cookie into Kitty from New Avatar to The Way of Water. At first I was going to make either Jake or Nightiri, but then after watching the movie I fell in love with the Kitty's character. For this character transformation we will need the following ingredients. White frosting that I used to make uh, these colors. Navi's skin as well as um, very lime yellow color for Kitty's eyes. We will need fondant as well as black, blue and green sparkle gel. Variety of candies for decoration. Here I have baking tools and check this out, I actually bought this decorating pan. In the picture it looked like bakers use it for melted chocolate but I will try to use it while applying the frosting. Of course we will need our giant gingerbread man cookie. I also like to use the metal tray under and since this activity can get really messy and sticky I like to protect my working space. Also Kitty has lots of accessories so I found some pictures online that I will be looking at for the inspiration. Usually my step one is to remove the cookie but today it's cold outside so I'm gonna have a sip of my tea. <laughs> Delicious. Okay step two, let's remove the cookie. Hopefully it's not broken. Yay it's good. It came in one piece. This particular brand comes with uh, two color icings. We have red and white. I normally don't use them. White is very sheer. Red one is pretty good. Um, so I mean I think I used red a couple times. And also these gummy candies that we use to decorate gingerbread houses or sometimes I use them to decorate the cookies also. Let's take this plastic wrap. And here's our cookie. Mmm, it smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna put cookie on the actual tray. Sometimes if I use a lot of fondant details like hair and such, I would keep the paper. Actually, mm, change my mind, I will keep the cardboard paper because we will be using not a lot of fondant but we will use some fondant for Kiri's hair. So usually I start with the bottom, color the feet or the shoes first and then make my way up. But since Navis are blue and they just have minimal clothing and accessories, we can go ahead and cover the whole cookie with the blue fondant. Let's talk a little bit about Kitty. Kitty is 14 year old Navi avatar hybrid. She's biological daughter of Grace Augustine's avatar and she was adopted by Jake, Sully and Naitiri. Her name Kitty comes from Atokirina which means the seeds of the great tree and she is gifted with special powers of easy bonding with Pandora creatures. I'm so used to using my little Ziploc bags that I'm not even sure if I can use professional baking pan properly. Frosting looks good. Next I'm gonna take my baking tool and spread frosting evenly. I'm taking another little knife and trying to spread frosting a little bit more flat. Wow, it almost looks like a cake. Very appetizing. Next, let's go ahead and add clothing and accessories. I'm going to put the cookie aside. Let's roll a small piece of fondant. Next, I'm taking my little knife and cutting out the shape of a rectangle. Okay, next I'm going to place this rectangle piece of fondant right here. Alright, that's going to be her, um, I don't know what to call it, <laughs> part of her outfit. The color is mostly green, so I'm going to be using this green sparkle gel to paint the fondant with. I 
actually have to make uh, some brown frosting because we will need to use this color and to add the belt as well as some swirly details to this piece. I'm going to pause right here and answer the question. If you're wondering what this is, this is actually her medical pouch that she carries with her all the time. Now let's go ahead and decorate this part with some candies. Next, I'm going to use the same brown color for her bra piece. For these green and brown hanging details, I am going to use these green spiders. Next, adding these tiny little beads. Right here in the middle, there is actually some kind of shell, but I'm instead gonna use this orange flower. I may also add these little uh, dark green ornaments, as well as these golden flowers in random places. The details look pretty good. I'm not too crazy about the bottom of this outfit, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this brown frosting and just kind of randomly spread it. Almost looks like a vine. There we go. I think it looks way better. Maybe add a couple more swirls here and there. Kitty loves different charm bracelets, so let's go ahead and add a few. Before we proceed any further, I am gonna stop because I slightly forgot one of the most important details. I need to add stripes to Kitty's skin. It looks phenomenal! Let's put our cookie aside and we are going to continue with her eyes made out of fondant. Same thing, rolling a little piece of fondant, making it nice and flat and after that we are going to cut out uh, the almond shape of eyes. We are going to make them a little bit bigger because uh, Navi's eyes are pretty large. Her inner eye has this nice pointy shape and I'm trying to make it look as similar as possible. Let's place the eyes on top of the cookie and we are going to put them a little bit wider. If I was doing a human inspired cookie, I would put the eyes a little closer. With Navi, I am going to leave a little bit more space in between. Then for the nose, I'm going to be using a blue button nose. There we go. And a blue smile. Next, carefully, I'm going to add lash line first. On the bottom, I'm going to use blue. And to achieve this color, I mixed lime and yellow colors together. Adding black circle in the middle. 
and tiny little white sprinkle as the light reflection. She also has brows, so I'm gonna use this black color and add her brows. Taking my little sharp tool and trying to fix the brow shape. Very important part. Next we are going to add these bioilluminescent dots that actually glow. So I got these sprinkles and I think they look very very similar. I'm gonna apply them with a special tool aka eyebrow tweezers. If you think there are lots of details, well, guess what? <laughs> I'm about to add some more. I love the effect of glowing skin and navies, so I'm gonna use this um, pearl color sugar and sprinkle in some of the areas. Not everywhere, just lightly here and there. This way we're gonna have a nice light reflection. Major close-up for a beautiful shimmer effect. And we are getting close to the grand finale. We just have to add her hair, her ears, and her braids with beads. Okay, warming up uh, the fondant, making it nice and soft and manageable to work with. Then I think instead of cutting out the shape of her hairstyle, I'm just going to use little pieces and form her hairstyle around and then I'll be using mostly black sparkle gel to paint her hair black and now I start thinking is her hair completely black or like dark brown hmm leave me a comment below because I honestly don't remember from the movie and it's hard to tell from the pictures online Before we paint her hair, let's go ahead and add her ears. She looks like a cute little wolf. <laughs> we are going to paint the ears first and then we are going to finish with her hair. Alright, now is the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and paint her hair. Let's just add a few beads to her hair. And here is the final result. Here's our beautiful kitty from Avatar to the Way of Water. It took me many hours to create all the right colors and to transform her into gingerbread man cookies. So please show me your support by giving me a big thumbs up and liking this video. Also leave me a comment below and let me know which character from Avatar to the Way of Water is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye!